Imagine a world where metals behave like glass. Welcome to the fascinating realm of amorphous metals. These aren't your everyday metals. They're revolutionizing material science. Amorphous metals or metallic glasses break all the rules. Traditional metals have a crystal structure, but these rebels don't. Their atoms are arranged randomly like a frozen liquid. This unique structure gives them superpowers. They're stronger than steel, but lighter than aluminum. They can be molded like plastic, but conduct electricity like metal. They're the Swiss army knife of materials. In this essay, we'll explore what they are, how they're made, and why they're special. We'll look at their current uses and imagine their future impact. So buckle up, science enthusiasts. We're diving into the cutting edge of material science. Let's start with the basics. What exactly are amorphous metals? To understand this, we need to think about how regular metals are structured. Picture a crowd at a concert. In a normal metal, the atoms are like well-behaved fans. They're neatly arranged in rows and columns. This orderly structure is called a crystal lattice. Now, imagine that same crowd, but in complete chaos. People are standing wherever they want. There's no order, no pattern. That's what the atoms in an amorphous metal look like. They're in a disordered, non-crystalline state. This disordered structure is what gives amorphous metals their unique properties. They have the strength of metals, but the moldability of plastics. They can be hard like ceramics, but elastic like rubber. Creating this disordered structure isn't easy. We need to cool the liquid metal so fast that the atoms don't have time to get into formation. So how do we actually make these wonder materials? It's all about speed. We need to cool the molten metal so fast that the atoms can't arrange themselves. We're talking about cooling rates of millions of degrees per second. One way to achieve this is through rapid solidification. Imagine you're making pancakes. You pour the batter onto a hot griddle and it solidifies quickly. Now imagine doing that with molten metal, but much, much faster. Scientists use special equipment to spread a thin layer of molten metal onto a super cold surface. The metal solidifies almost instantly, trapping the atoms in their disordered state. Another method is called melt spinning. Picture a cotton candy machine, but instead of sugar, it's spinning molten metal. The liquid metal is poured onto a rapidly rotating wheel, forming a thin ribbon that cools incredibly fast. The result? A ribbon of amorphous metal. Now that we know how amorphous metals are made, let's talk about what makes them so special. These materials are like the superheroes of the metal world. They have an impressive array of properties that set them apart from their crystalline cousins. First, up strength. Amorphous metals are incredibly strong. They can be two to three times stronger than regular steel, but they're also much lighter. This combination of high strength and low weight makes them ideal for applications where both properties are crucial. Think aerospace, where every gram counts. Amorphous metals are also extremely elastic. They can bend and flex without breaking. This elasticity gives them excellent wear resistance and makes them incredibly durable. Another superpower is their resistance to corrosion, making them ideal for harsh environments. So, where are these wonder materials being used right now? The applications are more widespread than you might think. In electronics, amorphous metals are making waves. They're used for smartphone casings, strong, scratch-resistant and sleek. High-end golf clubs use them for better energy transfer. In power distribution, they improve transformer efficiency, reducing energy loss and saving power. Bridges use them for stronger corrosion-resistant fasteners. In earthquake-prone areas, they absorb energy. Now, let's gaze into our crystal ball and imagine the future of amorphous metals. The potential applications are mind-boggling. We're standing on the brink of a materials revolution, and amorphous metals are leading the charge. In the medical field, amorphous metals could revolutionize implants. Imagine artificial joints that are stronger, lighter, and more biocompatible than current options, or dental implants that integrate better with bone and last longer. Some researchers are even exploring amorphous metals for biodegradable implants. The aerospace industry is another frontier for amorphous metals. Aircraft components made from these materials could be lighter and stronger. This means planes that are more fuel efficient and can fly farther. In space applications, amorphous metals could help build stronger, lighter spacecraft. Energy storage is another exciting area. Some scientists are working on amorphous metal batteries that could potentially store more energy and charge faster than current lithium-ion batteries. The possibilities are endless. As we wrap up our journey through the world of amorphous metals, one thing is clear. 
These materials are not just a scientific curiosity, they're a gateway to a future filled with technological marvels. From the devices in our pockets to the buildings we live in, amorphous metals have the potential to reshape our world. Their strength, elasticity and corrosion resistance open up new possibilities. They're allowing engineers to push the boundaries of what's possible, helping us build things that are stronger, lighter and more durable. But the journey is far from over. We need to produce amorphous metals in larger quantities and at lower costs. As we look to the future, it's clear that amorphous metals will play a crucial role in advancing technology.